Chimere is a planet in a distant solar system. It is a world defined by waves of organisms from Earth being teleported to the planet, then evolving on paths divergent from their contemporaries on Earth due to this different context. There are many clades, the scientific term for a group of animals that share a common ancestor, found in Chimere that would be familiar to us, such as felids, cervids, and crocodilians. Some clades are so far removed from their fossil ancestors that they are almost unrecognizable to the average viewer. In this video, I will go over the major clades of animals found in the known world. This will in no way be an exhaustive list of every organism, and down the road I will cover these and other clades in more detail. That said, I thought it might be of interest to compile the most prevalent groups into a single video. Again, this will only cover the known world, a region surrounding the portal from our planet, which covers slightly more space than the North American continent here on Earth. It is within this region that the civilizations of Chimerian humans have settled. Stories of these people are told in Tales of Chimere, an anthology of 11 short stories and novellas, which will be the subject of my next video. Filling the role of apex predators are the Megaraptorans, such as the Uktan. On Earth, this clade was made up of mid-sized theropod dinosaurs, noted for dispatching prey with their hands instead of their jaws, as was seen in more famous theropods like Giganotosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex. The Megaraptorans of Chimere come in a range of sizes, from the one-ton mesopredators, all the way up to 40-ton Kurajaku bulls that dominate the rivers and estuaries of the known world and beyond. The most common and successful small and mid-range predators are the Eudromaeosaurs. These raptor dinosaurs come in a wide range of sizes and lifestyles. All in the known world are ruthless brawlers, often punching well above their weight class, armed with serrated teeth that can cut into bone, and a hooked talon on each foot, which they use to dispatch prey with surgical precision. Although many clades of dinosaurs, such as Tyrannosaurs and Hadrosaurs, died out or were reduced to relic populations, the Titanosaurs recovered from the dynastic extinction with flying colors. These giant dinosaurs are ecosystem engineers, cultivating forests of their preferred food and stabilizing the climate. Although not as common in the known world, being dominated by islands and a vast inland sea, there are still several species, and their effects define the realm. Following the dynastic extinction, which I discuss in my first video, What is Chimere?, Parxosaurs are the most common and diverse herbivorous dinosaurs of the known world. As large herbivore niches opened up, following the extinction of the hadrosaurs and the reduction of the ceratopsids, these once diminutive burrowers rapidly diversified. There are now three great clades, each with distinct niches from semi-aquatic omnivores, aggressive giants, and vast flocks of sprinters. Abelosaurids, horned dinosaurs, and ankylosaurs are also found throughout the known world, but are not in the numbers and influence of the aforementioned dinosaur clades. The skies of Chimere are filled with birds, bats, and pterosaurs. Only two clades of pterosaurs are found in the known world, the tiny Aneuronathids and the enormous Asdarkids. There is also a flying therapsid, the Vanyu, which evolved on a distant subcontinent isolated from the portal since the Permian period and has recently immigrated to the known world. As a general rule, Chimere is a domain ruled by dinosaurs. Mammals have had a hard time establishing themselves at least in dominant situations. An exception to this in the known world are the sloths. The giants of this clade are armored, larger than elephants, and able to defend themselves with great claws. Many sloths are also found in the wetlands and even open oceans. As Chimere is some four degrees warmer than Earth, and the titanosaurs maintain a climate suitable for their own mesothermic bodies, giant sloths with their slower metabolism seem to thrive in a way that the likes of rhinos and elephants have barely held on. Ungulates have populated all regions of the known world. 
being able to process the housey grass indigestible for most dinosaurs, has opened a rare opportunity in a world otherwise controlled by these titans. The prairie is packed with horses, asses, gazelle, camels, and a species of giant calicathir called the glanos. The mountains are home to ibexes, while the island forests are populated by relatives of the modern giraffe, pigs, and deer. The hippopotamus is a breakout star, having widespread distribution throughout the wetlands of the known world and high population density, especially in the seritic wetlands. In the oceans, whales have become an increasingly dominant presence, being the only significant challenger to the mosasaurs. Mammalian predators, as a general rule, are relegated to the shadows. There simply isn't a place for a terrestrial apex predator, like the saber-toothed cat, in a realm filled with raptors and giant theropods. As is the case with most rules, there are exceptions. Hyenas have done quite well for themselves by burrowing, being able to escape the dinosaurs underground, while leopards have gained widespread success due to their excellent climbing capabilities. In general, mammals seem to be able to thrive best when they can climb or burrow. Creodonts never took a hold on land, but were able to break out into semi-aquatic niches, although seals have begun to supplant many of the roles these robust predators once held. As on Earth, fish dominate the sea. A diverse range of sharks, nearly 200 species, can be found in the known world alone. The largest of these is a megatooth shark, Ototus megalodon, which leave their young to grow up in the inland sea. And the most common shark are small predators like the blue mako. Alongside the catabo, a serpentine mosasaur, and juvenile megalodon, the panther shark and dire bonito are the top predators of this vast inland sea. There are some sharks, such as the frogmouth sharks, which evolved from ancestors some 300 million years ago and have no close relatives on Earth. The greater eagle shark is docile yet armored by thick skin and is often accompanied by an entourage of smaller organisms seeking refuge and protection. Although ichthyosaurs and other iconic Mesozoic marine reptiles are extinct, mosasaurs are quite common in the known world while elasmosaur plesiosaurs are more frequent in colder seas. All must contend with dolphins like the orca, along with sperm whales. The deep oceans surrounding the known world to all directions but the north are teeming with great krakens, hypercarnivorous leviathans, and abyssal amphibians large enough to swallow a whale whole. The Akanuk, brave whalers of the southern seas, tell stories of threats even larger and more bizarre the further south you go. But most Chimeran scholars dismiss this as embellished horror stories. Strange, diverse, and often titanic organisms define the planet. Tales of Chimere is my literary debut and tells the stories of human inhabitants of this wild world and their struggle with love, loss, revenge, and survival in a world they know is not under their control. Characters strive to achieve their goals, ever in the shadow of titans who rule this verdant and volatile world. <laughs>